after attending the city council meeting. So Brandon, how is the city council reacting to this protest? Well, Cammie, everyone and everything was respectful inside the city council chambers tonight. City council actually extended the public comment time because so many people signed up to speak. The protesters packed the city council meeting with members from the Friends of Silver Lake voicing their concerns about flood control and losing a piece of Med City history if the city does build the new dam. The protesters also asked public works and city council members to sit down with them and to discuss the proposal. The group is hoping to set up a time in the near future. Now, I also spoke with council member Sean Palmer, who oversees the Silver Lake Park area. He tells me he is open to meeting with the group after seeing over 100 protesters rally at the government center. And we had 175 people show up today to, to, to uh, go for Save the Dam, and we heard from two people who were, were very passionate about what they'd like to see done differently. My goal has always been to get the facts out there. What are the facts? What is this grant going to do for us? And where do we go next? He also tells me he does hear people about their concerns with the new dam being able to manage flood control. However, he says he's confident the city will be able to build a dam to do the job. All right, Brandon, thank you so much. Brandon, just getting back from the city council meeting here tonight. The city is asking the state for about $2.6 million to build the new dam. If Minnesota lawmakers approve this funding, city council will then vote on whether it will allow public works to accept the money.